All right, so this is a suggestion via a donation. The name of the video is Eleven versus Matilda, the rap battle. Guys, all right. Um, so Matilda, obviously the the kid, uh, witch or something like that, guys. Then right. Eleven, um, Eleven obviously is from Stranger Things. I've seen like the first maybe, bro, 20, 30 minutes of the show, but I think that bro that was like when it came out. Um, I've never actually seen the entirety of the show, bro. Shame on me. I'm sure, right? Um, but either way, let's go ahead and check this out immediately, guys. Let's jump into it. Matilda versus Eleven. Out of all the children I've seen, he got a scene that are quite this crazy. Looks like my clone dropped out of school and dressed yourself up like Slim Shady. I told your origin story. Yeah, you stole the powers right off me. Did so you? there's no need for me to ask Eleven. Do you copy? I'm making me. Bro, that is a crazy introduction, bro. Really quickly. All right, so Matilda, the magical child, right? Uh, then Eleven, I think she has some type of power. I have no idea the type of power she has, but yeah, I mean, you both are children. Uh, you both have powers. I don't know if, if she stole your powers, though, Matilda, but uh, Eleven, did you copy? Maybe, in this context. She's a copycat. Off me, so there's no need for me to ask Eleven, do you copy? I'm making you choke like a vile cake when I'm dropping you off at your final stage. The only thing you... Um, the kid ate the cake on the stage. All right, I've seen Matilda. Often. You copy? I'm making you choke like a vile cake when I'm dropping you off at your final stage. The only thing you dropped in your entire mission was your little ten survival rate. At five, I'm at a riper age. It's my books against your primal rage. You can dress up like a gopa you want, but leaving everyone behind is not a child of faith. And it might run late, but even I was raised in a brighter place. At least my whole life in a chase. How can you know what a truth Where you were raised was absolutely terrible and debaucherous. Um, is it a brighter place specifically? I don't know where Eleven was raised. Um, right? I don't know. I have no idea. But it looks wild from the first 20 to 30 minutes of the episode that I that I seen maybe like a decade ago. I think so. Guys, right? But all right, let's get it. Let's get it. We're here. It's against your primal rage. You can dress up like a gaffa you want, but leaving everyone behind is not a child of faith. And it might run late, but even I was raised in a brighter place. At least my whole life in a chase. How can you know what a truth is when everyone uses you only to lie to your face? It's awful how your show keeps dragging on. If you think you're memorable, then ask your mom. Oh, is it bad? Is the show bad? If you think you're memorable, then ask your mom. Oh, that's disrespectful. Uh, does Eleven not know her mother? And are, are you rubbing it in the face? I mean, Matilda, I'm sure she can respond pretty pretty quickly by saying, so your dad treats you? You're the same height. He uses you only to lie to your face. It's awful how your show keeps dragging on. Yeah. If you think you're memorable, then ask your mom. You want to stay safe? It's best to keep the gate closed. They're giving you a fake name. It's soon you'll be a Jane Doe. You think you're covered? You must be out of your mind. Because any trauma could devour your life. A freak of nature and a coward inside. I'm in the spotlight. You're the power supply. You threaten me not to stay close, please. You're acting as if you know me. Okay. But I wouldn't mess with this telekinetic or else we will both get the nose. Please, let's backtrack. To oh, listen. Your delivery, Eleven, as of right now. Phenomenal. Me, but I wouldn't mess with this telekinetic or else we will both get the nose. Please, let's backtrack to all these monsters. I fought while escaping my father. While this lab rag got her teeth sharp and you were barely even a daughter. Your math class, I'm street smart and I'm flipping what that prison taught her. So tonight it's time to burn the books of an anti Semitic author. I dealt with a couple of seats. What happened? Did, did the person who wrote Matilda, uh, was this one of these deniers? Guys, is that the case? I don't know. So tonight it's time to burn the books of an anti-Semitic author I've dealt with a couple of secret agents Too bad I don't befriend liars Yeah, Danny DeVito is like D&D a seller Without buyers I see you leave Eden that kick to your friends No defense against this accusation Have your movies and did on your hold, shitty Hold on Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on, bro Listen, I think as of right that, that last one was crazy But I think as of right now, Matilda is definitely Doing her thing all right, I'm gonna give it to Matilda as of right now, but I do like the delivery uh, from Eleven. In fact, I see you leave Eden that kick to your friends. No defense against this accusation. Right. Have your movie zoomed in on your shit eating grin. I'm begging for sensory deprivation. The badass okay. of Hopkins back at the office lab. Brad is locked Ooh, in dad's cabin. Promise sliding. not. Thank you watching that. Brad's is honest about that. The daughter's past captures all the backlash. and trauma fast flash was all your sad cast to Brad and your audience is as dead as your father. Now the trick gets a <laughs> Your trauma fast flash was all your sad cast abroad and your audience is as dead as your father. Now the cricket's 
of planning are the only hoppers you got left. Drop it. Solo in your head is bringing nothing but your misery. They sent you on a mission and you sent them to heaven. I see you're getting a product with an ego obsession. Your mind is fake and manufactured. Call you 7 Eleven because you ain't ready for the world. You're getting okay. everyone in trouble and your friends will take the fall for you wherever you dwell. From your parents to your buddies to your Halloween to bubbles, you lost so much. Even your friends call you L. That's wild. That's wild. Well, from your parents to your buddies to your Halloween to buckles, you lost so much. That's Even your wild. friends call you L. Spend oh. your study in the classics. So why is it you still fail in practice? You trap set like you're stuck in all alone scenes. Bro, who are you? I have no idea who you are. Who you're supposed to be. Is this someone else? This has to be someone else. Maybe. Or just 11 of hair. I, guys, I don't know what's happening here. Help me out. You're studying the classics. So why is it you still fail in practice? You drop set like you're stuck in all alone scenes. You rap sounds like you wrote them in the chokey. I'm out beat him out for you to say your preference. <laughs> your rap sounds like you wrote them in the chokey. The chokey was the closet. That's the punishment room. Drop set like you're stuck in all alone scenes. You rap sounds like you wrote them in the chokey. I'm out beat him out for you to say your breath for now. Or do I need Christmas lights to spell it out? We're big back in 1996 and it's good And I'm the reason why they claim to this battle. Better hide yourself if you can never stop my town. You look up to me like you're stuck in the upside down. Be straight each day when you fumble with your buddies It's cliches, be great, always run into Miss Honey But these days she games her only intention from being Benjamin Paris cousin And that really says it all Cause any possibility this book was giving me a beat And it's always gonna be purely hypothetical This pea brain couldn't fight the hype as psychic You'd wish for a mind like I got So why don't you fly off high kid Add this to my list of mic drops Alright, hold on Alright guys, I have no idea who that last person was But I think that it was solid uh, so, so apparently it was like two versus one on Matilda. I'm not going to say that that's kind of, you know, a little, it's a little disrespectful, just slightly, right? But um, who won this? Let me say uh, Team 11 or Team Matilda. I'm telling you, bro, like, I get it. She said uh, 11 or, or the, the person at the end is saying, listen, the only reason I clicked on this battle, why people clicked on this battle was to see me rap, right? Um, you slid. You did that. I'm going to go ahead and say, in terms of like rapping ability, I do like the way the person playing Eleven actually you know, did, did their thing, guys. Right? Uh, in terms of Matilda, though, um, I still think Matilda had the bars, bro. I think. I'm going to give it to Matilda, guys. But all right, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day. Yeah. Thoroughly. Guys, before we go, are you guys subscribed to the other channels? Logical Movie Reviews with Mr. L. Boyd along with Mr. L. Boyd Music. Both are found in the description. Check it out.